God called Samson to kill the Philistines. He took his harlotry into consideration so that even though he had messed up, he still found his way by some pillars and his hair began to grow back and he killed more in his death than he killed in his living. God told Peter, you're going to deny me three times. But he says, when you are converted, I want you to strengthen your brethren. Remember, God uh, allowed Joseph to go to the pit and into the jail. But God was still taking what his brothers meant for evil and turning it around and using it for good. God took Paul Saul's gift that was persecuting the church, knocked him off of his high horse, and turned him around in the direction of what God had planned for him. See, how many of us know that when Jehovah is your GPS, you can never be lost, oh God. I'm gonna preach it if I'm all by myself. When God is your GPS, guess what? You can never be lost. Sometimes I drive with my GPS on, even when I know where I'm going. And so sometimes it'll tell me to go left and I'll decide to go right. But because the GPS has taken every road into a consideration. Guess what? It knows everywhere you turn. So when you go the wrong way, the GPS doesn't say I quit. It doesn't say I'm done. It doesn't say they too stupid. It doesn't say they won't listen to me. It doesn't say I'm done with them. It just keeps recalculating and recalculating and recalculating. And the further wrong I go, the more it recalculates me and gets me where I was supposed to be in the first place, so I still wind up at my destination. Are y'all hearing the preacher this afternoon? 